Hey guys, it's Avery from Video Blind, and today I'm going to be showing you how to enable PowerShare on an XPS laptop. This is the XPS 159560, which is the 2017 version, um, but this will work on pretty much any XPS laptop from like the past five years or so. Um, just make sure it supports PowerShare. Um, and actually to check if it supports PowerShare, you can go ahead and do this. So uh, you're going to press the power button in the uh, just regular power button on your laptop and you're going to uh, just keep pressing F2 while it's starting up. So here we go, power, and I'm pressing F2 at the top of the keyboard just to make sure I can get into the BIOS. You're going to see that loading bar there. And there we go. So, uh, this is the uh, BIOS for pretty much any Dell XPS laptop. It's actually for most Dell laptops, or most of the recent ones. And we're going to go ahead in here and check out the settings. So these are the settings that you should see. And all that we have to do is just go to System Configuration, and then go to the USB PowerShare menu here. And then on the right, it's going to explain what the USB PowerShare is. It basically just allows you to charge devices using the laptop's USB ports, including USB-C, um, which this laptop has, but it works with the regular USB as well. Um, but it allows you to charge devices when the laptop is fully powered off. So you can basically use it as a battery backup. Um, normally, this checkbox right here will be disabled. I don't know why Dell does this by default because it is a very nice feature and they even advertise it um, with their laptops. But all you have to do is make sure that it is checked and then we're just going to go ahead and push apply down at the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and save it as our custom user settings just so it saves this for the future. And then we're just going to push OK. So it saves it and then all we have to do is exit out of the BIOS. and then the laptop's going to power down and it's going to restart and it's going to load up Windows and then just to test this we're going to let Windows load up real quick and then we're going to go ahead and shut down Windows we're not even going to log in just going to go ahead start sh uh, or power shut down there on the lock screen we're going to shut down anyway and then I'm going to go grab a device and show you that the PowerShare is working. Okay, so in this demo we're going to be charging my Nexus 6P. Um, so that's my phone. It uses a USB Type-C charger there. Um, so that's the uh, type of device we're going to be charging. And to demo it, I've got a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, as well as a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. So, USB-C, we're going to do first. We're going to plug that into the USB-C port on the laptop and the USB-C port on the phone. And you're going to see it says charging rapidly there at the bottom. So that's charging fine. It's even using fast charging because it says charging rapidly. And then we're also going to demo the USB-A charging. So plug that into the laptop, and then we're going to plug the USB-C into the phone. And uh, it doesn't support fast charging there, but you can see it still says charging when we use the USB-A. So, there you go. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions on how to use PowerShare or if anything's different on your laptop, then just leave it in the comments below. Um, but the other best thing to do is if you have a specific model of a laptop that you're looking for information on, just go ahead and uh, look for Dell's BIOS information on that laptop. But PowerShare should be available on any of the newer XPS laptops from the past uh, three or four years. So back to about 2014 and newer. Thanks for watching this video and have a good day.